Hey everybody, it's Chris. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. So, it's been a year since I did Thanksgiving. Uh, it was one of my favorite things I ever did with this channel, and uh, I wanted to do something for it again this year. Uh, I didn't have time, um, because of some things I'm going to talk about later, uh, to do anything on a huge scale, but I, you know, I've always liked the concept of being able to just think and reflect on, like, growth over a set period of time. A, a year's always nice. People usually do it for New Year's, but I think that, uh, I think that given events in my life, it's actually better for me to just do it now. Um, and so what I want to do is I want to talk about my growth over the last year, since I did Thanksgiving last, essentially. Because um, I think that there's a couple interesting stories. And, uh, yeah, just talk about that. Let's get self-indulgent, everybody. Around this time last year is when I uh, went through... Uh, it was right in the middle of Thanksgiving. I, I went through a uh, pretty big breakup. Uh, one that... It was, a, it was a very long relationship. It was something that I had basically accepted would probably be a, uh, a whole life thing. If you were around last year, you might remember my emotional state. It's not something I'm particularly proud of. I'm kind of embarrassed about it, but that's, uh, that's how I was. So, that's it. And uh, I'm not going to really try to hide that. <laughs> One of the biggest things for me was it, it made me really have to reevaluate who I was as a person and who I wanted to be, and, uh, and part of that was uh, the role that games played in my life. Um, but that was one of the things that was uh, cited and used against me, was basically a, a lack of maturity in that I was somebody who, um, who played a lot of games. And uh, that, that really kind of stuck with me, and it really stung, and it was like, wow, am I... Am I really just being a child? Is this not something good for me? And uh, one of the biggest things coming up to that... Uh, and this became a pretty huge conflict for me pretty early on, because uh, about a month and a half after it happened, I was going to MAGFest. It was something I had been excited about for months. Uh, I was going to meet all these people, I was going to see these things, I was going to play these games. I, I was stoked about it. Um, anytime I talked to my ex about it, she, uh, she didn't really seem to care. And, uh, you know, I felt a little foolish about it, but it was like, no, this will be fun. But, uh, but leading up to it, um, it suddenly became this, like, kind of scary thing, where I'm like, am I really gonna spend my time doing this? Is this... Is this, this is really, like, you, you, you want to be an actor slash filmmaker, like, you, you want to be taken seriously as an artist, and you're going to be taking a weekend off to go play games with a bunch of kids in Maryland. But, you know, there are people who push me to go. You know, uh, Mom was saying that this is something that you wanted to do forever. You, you need to do this. You need to take this time for yourself. Uh, my roommates, Miles and Colby, both push me to go. Tyler, just uh, Isaac, everybody in my life, um, more or less. Including uh, somebody who I'd been friends with for a while, for, for quite a long time, uh, in the city who had always been incredibly supportive and uh, just of everything. And uh, so I went to MAGFest and it was fantastic. It, it was three, four days of just not worrying about anything. J just being able to just think about myself and enjoy myself and spend time with people I didn't really get to spend a lot of time with before or a lot of time to just think about things and like who I wanted to be, what I wanted out of my life, and I stay up till like five in the morning one night with uh, with my friend Gordon, and we just talked about all the stuff we wanted to make. We talked about film, we talked about games, we just talked about things that excited us, things we were passionate about, and uh, and I realized I was like these are the kinds of people I want to be around. Like this this is what I need. Why, why was I why was I in a relationship where I was, I was being made to feel like something that was important to me was, was stupid or where it, it was childish where it was something that made me a lesser person you know it seems obvious now but when you're when you're in it it's very different um, or so I tell myself to feel better and I was talking to uh, to, to this friend of mine who I had been talking to, and we were in this really weird state of, like, I think, you know, like, I, 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 I like you a lot, and it's, 
it was a really awkward thing of like, is this the kind of person I can be? And it was scary because she was somebody who loved that I was really into games. Somebody who had been watching Thanks Gaming the entire time and loved it. Um, I, I didn't even know. Uh, compared to this person who, you know, I said was like, oh, this is my, this is like who I want to spend the rest of my life with. And there's somebody who made me feel terrible about it, who didn't care about this side project I had with this YouTube channel or anything. I mean, you know, in retrospect, like, all the red flags seem, like, really obvious now. But one of the big things uh, for me in just kind of overcoming this was uh, I had just started playing Earthbound for the first time, right before the breakup. And uh, Earthbound is this really interesting game that seems really childish on the outside, but it's really not for children. It's... It's written with this kind of really bizarre sense of sense sense of experience and sense of like looking back on childhood and just it, it's a coming of age story it really is and part of it is that you're supposed to name the characters after you and your friends and you put your own favorite things in it and uh it's definitely got its faults but there's a reason that so many people love it and uh so of course all the characters were named after me my friends and uh my ex and I didn't get very far before the breakup happened, and after that, it was just really hard to pick the game up. But after MAGFest, I started picking it back up, and, you know, it was it was awkward at first, but I, I just kept pushing through it. But Earthbound is a game about overcoming hardships. It's about taking those hard situations and those sad situations, and it's about how you handle them, how you smile through it, how you push through, how you stand by the people who matter to you. There was one moment where... Um, and it's not the ending. It's uh, a part kind of near the end where you, um, and this game is weird, by the way, uh, where you drink coffee and then start tripping a little bit. <laughs> and uh, it just plays this music, and it's this, it's several minutes of just this dialogue scrolling across the screen, and it's about how you've gone through so much, and you still have to go through more, but you're gonna make it, you know? And, uh, it's written vaguely enough that during that sequence, I kind of just thought about my own life and the things that I was pushing for and the things that uh, I'd been having trouble with. It was a very powerful moment for me. And, uh, in terms of putting things into perspective, and that was... Part of when I started really motivating myself to just throw myself back into it, because, because you know I'd been out in New York for about five years. I after everything that had been happening, I had been thinking about leaving. I, I had forgotten why I wanted to do it so badly. Just the combination of Magfest and playing this game that had so much love into it and just being like, I want to make stuff like that. Like, not as games, as films, but I, I want to make something that is that personal. I want to make something that is that is that powerful, something that makes people feel that way. And I just started remembering why I was here. And I started running again, and I started auditioning again. I, I landed a film that was a huge stretch for me, and I, and I loved every moment of it. And I started turning things around. I relentlessly pursued <laughs> this... Uh, fantastic person who had been supportive for so long and just gone like I feel like I deserve somebody who is this good for me in my life and um, I've been with her for months now and that's been fantastic and it's crazy to look back at like a year ago and how I was feeling about myself how my entire existence, like, hinged on this one person, like, approving of me. And looking at it now, where I have been so much more confident with my with my career and with my personal life, where I have been just going after the things that I want. I am surrounded by friends who support me. I have just written and directed my, my first film, like, on a, on a large scale, and it's and it looks amazing. I just wrapped it like a week ago, which is why I was too busy to do Thanksgiving on a huge scale this year. I feel really bad about it. I might do something around Christmas maybe with all my friends. I'm not sure. Um, and I, uh, 
I'm incredibly grateful. And it's not just Earthbound that has meant something to me this year. I also played To the Moon for the first time and was amazed by the storytelling in that. And I, and I played Undertale recently and thought that was incredible. And both of those games, both of those games were made by more or less uh, one person. They're, they're, they're small teams, there were other people involved, but it was a very... But it was Kangao and Toby Fox. Just these two guys who saw this story and they just wanted to tell it and they made it and they're f with the help of their friends and it's just very they're very personal stories and they're very effective and they and they push in my opinion what games can do as a storytelling medium um and i just get excited to see that i'm like yeah like i i want to do that i want to be those people i'm just i'm just really excited passionate and grateful i'm excited to work on this channel again I did that last of Us video, which was insanely ambitious for me, and you know it didn't all go right. There, there's some stuff that still bugs me when I watch it, but I, but I did it, you know. And I'm excited to start working on the next videos for this channel now that I'm done with the film, and I, I'm just really happy and excited that games are a part of my life and that I'm okay with it. That I'm just okay with myself. Which is a really hard thing to be nowadays, I think. But I feel like in this last year, I have been able to build a space where I'm just happy and confident. And uh, I'm thankful for the creators like Shigesato Atoy and Toby Fox and Kangao who've created these games that just inspire me to want to create. I'm incredibly grateful for the people in my life, my my roommates, my other friends, my beautiful girlfriend. Uh, I'm grateful for you guys who are even who who were listening to me ramble for 20 minutes about myself, who have been supportive for years while I've been doing these like ridiculous channels. Because so much of my growth as a filmmaker has come from the things I've done on this channel. If you look at the stuff I did a long time ago and the stuff I've done this year. It's like, as a filmmaker, I've been growing through these videos. And I'm just really excited to keep going. So thanks for watching this, guys, and uh, happy Thanksgiving. Have a great year.